with my Zero to Hero event selected, I have this option down here, New Project. Um, the only reason it's down here is because I have no project in this event at all. Um, or, sorry, not event, in this library at all. Right? If I did, the, the project would show up here, and I could select it and, and uh, start editing. So let's go ahead and create one. Let's click New Project. Or you can go to File, New, Project for you legacy Windows users. Right. And an option pulls down. And since I had the Zero to Hero event selected, what's nice is Final Cut automatically selects that event for me. Great. That's exactly where I want my project to be, right? So what do you think our project's going to be called? Well, it's going to be called Zero to Hero, right? And Now, we could hit OK here, leave it at default settings, which most of the time you want to do. But I want to show you these custom settings real quick, because it's very important, especially this video properties radio button that's selected. Set based on first video clip. That does exactly what it sounds like it does. The first video clip you pull down into your timeline is going to be the settings for the rest of your clips. For instance, if I take something I shot on one of my cameras on the SD card and I pull that down first, the resolution of that is most likely 1920 by 1080, um, 29.97 frames per second, you know, all kinds of uh, technical jargon. Um, and it's going to make that project the correct settings for the video. Yes, right? So then anything I put import after is going to be correct. If I were to grab an image from the internet, say the image is 100 you know, pixels by 100 pixels, right? It's very small, uh, especially for TV. Um, if that's the first thing I bring down, what do you think the project's going to be? 100 pixels by 100 pixels, right? So then if you were to bring in a clip you shot on your camera, it's going to shrink it down to be, instead of 1920 by 1080, it's going to try to shrink it down to be 100 by 100. And you don't want that. Okay, so what's the, what's the fix? What's the workaround? Always put something you shot from your camera down on the timeline first. No matter if it's going to be the first thing that you want people to see on your clip, no matter if it's going to be the last thing. You can always move it around after the fact, but make sure you put something you shot from your camera down as the first item on your timeline. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to make sure and click Use Automatic Settings because I want Final Cut to make the decision for me, and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to scroll back out here. Now our Final Cut looks a little different. We don't have that new project button anymore down here. We now have what looks like three kind of bands, or maybe one band and a background. Right? This band here is our timeline. Okay. In Final Cut 7, if you remember 7, this whole thing would kind of be called your timeline. In X, it's slightly different. Just this band is your timeline. It's what's known not really as a timeline, but it's known as the primary story line. Okay? So I'll probably be calling it from here on out a story line because it's important that I do that when, I, when we start adding B-roll. Okay? So primary storyline. 